Hi everyone, welcome back to my little corner where I design, create, and craft ideas to share with you. Today's DIY was inspired by, believe it or not, this Dollar Tree fencing. You can cut up this fencing in so many different ways and create so many wonderful creations, but no matter how many ideas I came up with, it just wasn't something that I can call my own. So that's how I came up with the wiring and the irrigation tubing. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Blanca Lomeli, and if you already haven't done so, go ahead and subscribe. I've got so many great ideas coming up, guys. You guys don't want to miss out on any. Anyways, um, before we get started, I just want to give a great big hug and kisses to everybody that has been uh, supporting me from the very beginning. Thank you to all my friends and family and their friends for hanging out with me. Do hang out. At the end of the video, I did post a bunch of pictures of some ideas that I came up with, and there's plenty of more of those ideas coming up. So subscribe, thumbs up, and get started. To make our wrought iron creations, we are going to need tubing and wiring. Some rapid fuse glue. We're also gonna use this Easter bunny board. And I went ahead and removed all the accessories from the front part of the board, although we're just going to use the back part. But I do want this to hang evenly onto the wall after we're done with the project. As you can see here, I already went ahead and pre-wired some of my tubing. And I'm just going to demonstrate how you insert the wire into the tube and how easy it is to make swirls. Here we're just going to use the back of our bunny board and then paint it with a black chalk uh, paint that I got from the Dollar Tree. So now we're just going to make sure that the sides of our board is painted. In this next step, we're going to lay out our pieces just to make sure that they link together before we start gluing. So now that I made sure that all my pieces are perfectly linking together, I went ahead and started gluing them. For this part here, you wanna make sure you add a dab of glue. You don't wanna to add too much because it'll take forever to set. It turned out to be a strong, sturdy piece. And there it is after I spray painted it with some flat black paint. I really think this piece turned out really pretty. So now I'm just going to add the word Bienvenidos. Translation is welcome. And I'm using a white chalk pen. Thank you. 
This is a finished product. I like the way it turned out. I ended up adding some spring colored stickered flowers that I got from the Dollar Tree. There it is, it looks really cute.